hello ladies and gents, boys and girls, how's it going? This is R Serious. How's everybody doing? Today I want to go ahead and do a quick tutorial on the last video that I made, the last world tour. Uh, I had some requests, people like this design that I made. So uh, I decided to go ahead and do one today. If you don't know what this is, this is a villager switcher and you can come up to them and just deal whatever item they buy and if they don't have the item and you want a different type of villager you just go ahead and press the button and I'll go ahead and switch for you just like that awesome okay so let's say we go to our test world and do a quick tutorial for you guys it's not going to include this right here this is the villager trading trading hall we're just going to concentrate in building this switcher right here okay guys I'll see you in our test world okie doke all right amigos welcome back so we're in my test world and um, let's go ahead and take a look at this up close and personal a little bit better so if we press that button they'll be sent out just like that let's see what happens in the bottom they go down and then they go up again one more they drop they go up just like that awesome and the cool thing about this is that you can make it as high as you want. You can take it all the way up to the sky, from bedrock to the sky with no problem. You can also incorporate a slime block elevator if you don't want to use a, the normal um, stairway up just like that. You can put a slime block elevator, so that's pretty cool. And another cool feature about this is that if you have a villager that's no good, let's say this guy's terrible, blast protection that's terrible, you just can go ahead and press that button and boom he'll be sent out a different route that's why we got four tracks to go up and the other ones go out towards the the outwards so let's try it with this guy here he drops and he's taken out so you got both options you can use it like that or you can use it like this very cool so let's say we get started with this tutorial. Okie dokie. All right, then the first thing you want to do is a platform. We're going to make it seven wide. All right, after doing that, we're going to do a upper part lip just like that. We're going to grab this one right here. We're going to put a stairs, that one, a stairs torch torch we're gonna go up here three all right okay so once you're done with your platform it should look something like this at the moment I have a four by seven a three by seven on top just like that and if it looks like this then just continue on by adding this block here two glowstones on the side we're gonna add two rows of seven blocks right along the back of this just like that now we're gonna go ahead and add our pistons so we need a temporary block right there we're gonna add our first piston right there take that block off and we're gonna add a Let's see. Oh, sorry. Glass. Temporary block right there. We're going to add our fence gate. We can go ahead and break that glass. Solid solid block. We're going to add temporary block right there and a fence gate again. And break that block. Now we're going to add a piston right there see if we can make it. There we go. <laughs> good, good. All right, so let's break that for a second. It should look something like this. Piston, glass, fence gate, solid block, fence, fence gate, air space, nothing here. And we have a piston. Okay, looking good, guys. So we're almost done with the base here. And I went ahead and added these blocks back here, the ones I took off. Now what's going to happen is that the villagers, when they fall with the minecart, they're going to sit right there in between those fence gates. And to, 
stop their fall, we want to add the trap doors right there in front of the torches underneath the fence gate. Okie doke. Now we come up here. We want to add one glass there, there, and there. One redstone lamp. A button right there. Perfect. So now we come in the back. I uh, went ahead and took that block off. Let's take this one off and add that repeater in the last delay. This one will keep it there. And we're going to add these blocks for some redstone. So let's go ahead and just take it all the way around. Just like this. We're going to add one more repeater in the last delay here. And one up here. Oops. Right there in one tick. All right. We're going to add the redstone. Just like this. Perfect. So let's test it out. Awesome. All right, so for our next step, we want to enclose our villagers. And one thing I forgot to do was to add two buttons right there. And what this does is you press it, and it'll trigger the trap door, as you can see. Let's go ahead and test this one out. There we go. Let's test that one out. Awesome. <laughs> so let's start by adding, oops that block right there. Now you can go as high as you want. You can make a small one, or you can make a tall one, whatever you want to do. You can add cows, uh, pigs, horses. Well, horses you need two block wide. It's, you got to modify it. But let's just take this up 11 blocks. So let's do this. Okay, so in the back we want to add two blocks here. in here okay so now for the middle we can use any block we want I'm gonna go ahead and use something different uh, just use this for now there we go awesome and this is where we're gonna add these here and let's see that's where they're gonna fall down right there I didn't really need to put that block on top, but no problem. You just knock it out. There we go. So that's where they're going to fall. We can take these two out, and they're going to fall right in there. Awesome. Okay, so far so good. Now for our final part, we got to come down here, add a few more blocks. I'm going to add five glass, one block here. Just like that. And a little platform right there. Now we need to add our, before we keep on adding any more glass, you gotta put our rails down and we wanna make sure where they're gonna fall. So uh, right here we're gonna have um, where the trap doors are. That's where we want them to go out into a different destination. So let's add that here. And uh, let's say we take this out a little bit more so we don't get confused. And let's skip one block and let's take that here. So these two are going to go to a different destination. You can make this one by, you know, adding another block here. I'm going to leave this part to you. Uh, but just make sure that where the trap doors are, that's where they're going to fall and go to a different destination. Now when they are pushed to the side right here, you want to add another rail right there. And these are going to go, of course, they're going to go all the way up here just like that. And you keep on adding your rails going up. There we go. You're going to do the same thing on this side. And don't forget to add some power to this right there. You can break these off now and close it up. 
just go ahead and add your glass. I like using glass because I don't want my villagers to get suffocated into a block and glass seems to do the job good. And let's just go ahead and add that there. And let's close this up all the way up to the top. So there we go. And you don't want to take this down any lower because your villagers can get some damage going up. So we're going to keep it at that height. Okay, guys. So there we go. It's all said and done. Ready to do some trading. All we have to do now is add our villagers. Keep in mind, uh, you want to light up the tracks to make sure there's no nasties spawning up here. So yeah, also you can add some half slabs right on top of this, right there, so we don't get no mob spawning. And also you can cover this up and a baby zombie won't fit in there or jump inside. Awesome. So let's say we go ahead and try this out. Let's add our villagers. This is going to be painstaking like always. <laughs> Come on, get in there. Nice boy. Another one, let's add two. There we go. And the side. All right, they do take a little bit of damage. You probably wanna have some potions for them to cure them. And also, if you make this high, too high, you wanna probably put a water drop somewhere in between so it can stop some of the fall. Um, so there, there we go, let's try it out. Awesome. <laughs> of course, the more villagers you put, the less damage they'll receive. They'll fall on top of each other. So let's do this one more time. There we go. Okay, let's try out these. This is for the other destination. Awesome. Okay guys, so there we go. Have yourself a wonderful trading experience. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this. I'm always glad to share my ideas. Hopefully one day I'll see one of these built in your own worlds. So okay guys, I'll see you next time. This is our serious MC. Hasta la vista, babies. <laughs> Later guys.